Good morning, Ray. I hope you are having a wonderful day and that you are ready to begin working on goals one and two. So for goal number one, we are going to be talking about uh, action and verbs and uh, changing a verb to past tense. So as we have reviewed, past tense verbs uh, are verbs that tell us what already happened. Um, most of those words, if we recall, um, have ed um, in most cases. Some cases we know that uh, the word changes either completely or sometimes in rare occasions they do not change at all. And then present tense verbs are telling us what is happening right now. So things um, that happen like over here in this picture, he has a smile, he's um, driving. These are things that are happening uh, right now. So um, for this week, for goal number one worksheet, it is we're going to be doing uh, irregular past tense verbs worksheet number two. If you have this worksheet, please get it out so we can work on it together. So this is the worksheet we are going to be doing today, Ray, and it just says fill in the sentence about what you did yesterday. So um, it gives us a sentence with today and then we just have to change it um, to past tense. So for question, um, for the first question, which is um, this one, the one with the, with the collar, it says today I lose. So now we have to change it into past tense. So now we're going to complete the sentence for yesterday. So I will be doing two with you, then you will be doing um, the other two on your own. So let's do this top one together. I'm so sorry. There's, there you go. I got it. Okay, so it says today I lose, yesterday I, we can put yesterday I, what's, if, if the verb today is lose, what is yesterday? Do you know? Yes, yes, if we say it in the past, it is lost. So we can put yesterday I lost. And since there's a collar, who usually wears these things? Yes, animals, dogs. So I'm going to put lost my dog at the park. I am going to write it in a complete sentence. That way it makes more sense. So yesterday I lose. I mean, today I lose, yesterday I lost my dog at the park. Here, the word actually changed. It's not lost, it's lost. Now, we're going to do this one. It says, today I say. So, yesterday I, so how would we say? write this how will we say say in the past good job Ray. said is the correct word so today i say 
Yesterday I said. Um, what can we write? Yesterday I said that. My birthday is coming up. Period. So, complete sentences. So, and this is what you will be doing for the rest um, of the sentences, right? Um, please. Uh, make sure you write in a complete sentence so I can know you um, understand the concept of this. So once you are done with all of them, please do not forget to take a picture. And then uh, so you can submit it on, into Teams uh, for a grade. If you have any questions on this assignment or any assignment on the IP goals, Please feel free to reach out to me. I am always here to help. Once you are done with this one, then we will continue to work on goal number two. So for goal number two, Ray, we are going to be um, backing up at um, inferences with evidence from the text. So we're going to be um, making inferences and you might ask yourself what is an inference um, making inferences is using clues to figure out what the author's not saying so when we are talking about inferences we are uh, using clues from the book or the text or the story and also using what we already know, uh, background knowledge, things that we have already experienced, uh, anything um, that is real uh, life, things that we just know. And when we use those two things, we always end up saying, I think, I predict, my guess is, or maybe. We always use these words because they're not things that we know for sure. But because of what's going on and because of things that we already know or have already experienced, we um, often guess or we predict or we think. And we always start with words like this. So for today, a uh, worksheet, uh, we will be working on drawing conclusion practice. So if you have this worksheet, please uh, take it out. Uh, I will be doing question number one with you as an example. So this is the worksheet we're going to be working on today, Ray. Um, and there are three questions. I will be working on one with you and you will be doing the two on your own. And here what we're going to be doing is drawing conclusions, uh, making inferences on what they are telling us. So the first uh, little paragraph right here, it says, your mom takes your temperature. You must stay home in bed all day. You eat soup and take medicine. And now it's asking you, what is happening? So based on what you're reading and things that you have already experienced, what do you think is happening right now here in this story? Yes. You're sick. Not you in particularly, but like here on the top. So what is happening is that we're going to put So we won't use the word you, we're going to put this person is feeling really sick.
because what happens when your mom checks your temperature? It's because you're starting to feel warm or you have a fever. You must stay in bed all day. When you're sick, like you don't want to do anything. All you need to, all you want to do is just uh, be asleep or be laying down, and you have to have a lot of rest. And then you also eat soup and take medicine when you're feeling really sick. So this to me makes is the inference I'm making based on this. I think this person is feeling really sick because of what we just read. And that is what you're going to be doing for the next two uh, questions, Ray. You will be reading the little uh, sentences that it has. And then you are going to be making inferences on what do you think is happening um, based on what you read. So if you have any questions, please feel free to reach out to me. I am always here to help. If not, uh, once you are done, do not forget to take a picture, submit it into Teams so I can be able to give you a grade. Uh, once you are done submitting and uh, putting in on Teams, you are are good and we will see you here tomorrow to work on goals three and four. I hope you have a good rest of your day Ray and that you are staying safe. See you here tomorrow. Bye!